Now we're in chapter three, uh, lowering costs. Let me just say this, uh, first and foremost, as I start chapter three of lowering costs. Now, what the, the reason why prices are as high as they are or, or such and such is because of capitalism. So you want to like lower prices, get rid of capitalism. That will also get rid of poverty, too. Um, I don't know if like, hey, but the like the ruling class, the, uh, the elites as were too, they will not like to see that. And they don't want that because like, oh, again, the Democratic Party are capitalists. Some, I don't know. Sometimes I just want to like uh, have a, uh, like a conversation with Steve Shies about uh, policies, about all uh, this uh, politics as well too, and kind of almost grill him on this because it, it I it, it seems I don't know. Eh, I might just that might just end our friendship right there if I grill him on like his liberalism, unfortunately. Random sighting of me on Twitch. Hello, Groundhog2010. How are you doing? Um, so, lowering costs. Today, our economy is growing. Uh, wages are rising, I guess. Um, minimum wage is still $7.25 an hour, though, federally. A uh, record, uh, record number of Americans have good jobs. I wonder if I find out it's a good job. I guess my job is a good job, or that, like, then though, like, I'm only making uh, above, it's likely above uh, Seattle's minimum wage. But that's because Seattle's minimum wage is high at, like, almost $20. There it is. And I could, could take care of myself just on, like, um, you know, how much I make. And, like, I probably can just like, work a regular eight hours a day and something like that. And then, like, fit in more Twitch streaming and more gaming um, when I can. Um, but I, t I didn't, like, work as many hours this week as I would, like, yeah, it's kind of like like I kind of like took some time off or just like not work as many hours to like relax more in some cases uh, or like came home early on Friday night to like stream I hope you're doing well Groundhog 2010 hope you're doing well but I'm, I'm afraid it's uh, like and as well as like uh, last week uh, Labor Day the fake Labor Day being a holiday so it wasn't like working that day and also then it came out on Saturday too so uh, which like this is not going to be a on my this week's paycheck uh this coming friday uh but it'll hit on like the next week's uh, paycheck so it's just like but still i i kind of like i'm gonna afraid eight of my um my paycheck is going to be like lighter than usual as well too uh, and it's like my paycheck will be like fine for like if i'm just taking care of myself and my expenses will too but i'm trying to like uh help out like five friends at the same time well, more like four friends at the same time. Joey, Joanna, Phoenix, and Nasnaka and London Quinn. Um, uh, but, like, I don't know how well I can, like, do just that. I, I, I'm not, like, I haven't been able to, like, give them the money that I like to uh, when I'm, whenever they need it, so. So, anyway, um... But too many hardworking families, but for too many hardworking families, the cost of living is too high. There should not be the concept of the cost of living. Period. Why do we accept that there's such a thing as the cost of living as well too? Oh, but I bet if I post that to like threads and like the book lookers will find that thing and like say like oh because like those only those who like work hard are the ones that deserve to like be able to live. Now, even like even my one of my subscribers, Kirok, he does believe that like no people have to like do uh, uh, people who are able-bodied should work so th uh, that they can deserve to live and take personal responsibility. And that was the argument that I had with Kirok yesterday, in fact. I and mean, we've been having that same ongoing argument for a long time because it's personal to Kirok. He's like grandchildren have a deadbeat dad. That's it, basically. Um, and he th and Gra Kirok thinks that like I am a child abuser or support child abuse because like it's word of UBI, which would also help uh, that that be dad of the his grandchildren. So yeah. Uh, so continuing on, uh, lowering costs and Democrats and number one economic priority. I thought like uh, pleasing your donor class was uh, your number one priority. You might say that like lowering costs is uh, your number one priority, but like uh, that would only would happen once the donor class that you uh, support as well too and will serve as well will like get what they need as well too. Uh, continue. On. We'll use every tool to bring down prices on health insurance and prescription jobs and like in 
including negotiating the price of the commonly used drugs for diabetes, health, failure, and on, on housing, child care, and net banking, and, and credit cards, and, like, more. They, they use the word negotiate. And, it's like, they say they will use every tool. But, like, will they actually cap prices? Just period? Just straight up? Because I don't gonna believe that they're... I'm not going to believe them that they're saying they're using every tool to bring down prices if they're not willing to, like, cap prices. And if they're going to use every tool in, like, health insurance... How about Medicare for All? Kamala Harris was for Medicare for All in 2019. But uh, once she, re she realized that, like, um... She doesn't have to be for Medicare for All in order to, like, win elections and stuff like that. In order to, like, move up in, like, uh, the political, like, uh, elite ladder. Her, that she's no longer for Medicare for All. Because she doesn't have to be for Medicare for All. She just can, like, say Orange Man's bad and coast on that. And I know that Libra's going to come out of the woodworks and, like, say, like, but the project 2025 is like, I get it, 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 I get it. Trump's a fascist, and I don't want, like, a fascist to be, like, ruining this country. Because this country, the United States of America's, like, system, political system, is a authoritarian system. And if a fascist takes over the authoritarian system, then it will be terrible. So it's just going to be less terrible if we have, like, just regular authoritarians to, like, take over the authoritarian system. And in case anyone's curious, it's a lemon ginger is the tea I'm drinking. Uh, lemongrass, lemon peel, cinnamon, natural, uh, ginger, lemon flavors, other flavors, uh, yeah. And rose hip. Pretty good. Um... I, I, won't, I only will believe that they will actually use everything in their power to bring down prices on all those things if they're, like, willing to, do, like, you know, do state run sort of things on, like, health insurance and prescription drugs and housing as well, too. But, like, the thing about, like, housing, I'll talk about this and everyone talk about housing more, is just, like, they're not willing to change the housing market. I kind of already mentioned this yesterday as well, too. They want to leave the housing market as it is, but, like, um, have qualify families to be able to get a tax credit or like um or or, or something or get a rebate on something like that on a first uh, buy a house but the the thing about the rebate is that you have to first then put up the money to buy the house then and then like ask for the rebate from the government later um so there's like hurdle to get like uh, a cheaper house as well too i just like say keep people houses but like the democrats are not interested to do it because they're capitalists and like many of the democrats are also landlords too continuing on uh, we need to uh, we uh, we have more to uh, do but our actions are already putting thousands of dollars a year back in like people's pockets those savings add up and the democrats will keep fighting until every american feels them I mean, sometimes that you're going to like a well, you say if you're American, so you're not including uh, illegal immigrants in that statement. So I guess like you will actually they try to do that for every American to feel that. But uh, there have been going to be people up the uh, I they in the first two chapters I didn't see a single knows about the disabled people. So that's one thing. So I wonder if they're going to come up this one. And also looked at the table of contents of this before. So this, there is a section on disability, but it's in like protecting our democracy. So I wonder is just like making like voting accessible for disabled people as well too. I hope that they talk about like raising the SSI, raising Medicare, and also get rid of the asset limits on Medicaid and like uh, SSI and S. Uh, no, right. Uh, asset limits is not on SSDI, but it is on SSI and Medicaid. Fortunately, a comrade is like has like needs to like raise money for like a, get a broken AC fix uh, in order to stop the spread of mold, a black mold, uh, in, in his apartment. Uh, but he's on uh, or like the person he's living with, I think like his uh, mother or something like that, um, is on SSI and Medicaid, and like they they asked me if like uh you have any gofundme will go against the asset limit for uh, both those things they were under the last set limits for ssi i've been told i'm not sure about like medicaid or i'm not sure if like the gofundme will count against medicaid i kind of i did my with my what i've asked around and my own research it seemed like it does so i just like said i think it does so it's just like safe bets like consumer it does anyway continue on 
When the pandemic disrupted supply drains, FYI, we're still in the pandemic. Uh, continuing on, everyday items become harder to get. Uh, rising prices. When Russia invaded Ukraine, food and grass prices spiked more. As companies' costs went up, they raised their prices too. Person by them worked across industries to ease the probably bottlenecks and get them good at uh, energy flowing again. He delivered air and inflation has like since I dropped two thirds from its peak. Now, what's so one time on Economicon's like stream, we were just like talking, like playing golf for your friends, and I said I'd like just put a cap on prices for like those things, as and she told me because she like studied like uh, economics in like uh, college as a minor, um, that like though the, we did that in the seventies, we put like a price cap on like gasoline on oil, um, but then that it caused a surge of people like going to the gas pumps to like stocking up on like uh, gasoline prices when the prices were low uh, and it caused a shortage of the gasoline and it's just like so that's why they don't change they don't put a cap on price on uh, gasoline prices as well too to prevent that from happening and it's just like yes when you have like scarcity of everything as a war too then uh, people are just going to take advantage when like prices are low uh, so you got to like make so many sweeping changes in society so that like people will not panic when there's like or not like do a run on like gasoline when the prices are low or something like that or just keep them low forever and then eventually the um supply will like level out or like switch over to very more renewable like energy sources or like heavily invested in public transportation there or something like that or i don't know to do so many other things but the idea is like oh no we shouldn't like cap prices because like then people would then take a run at that it's like uh, wouldn't you do this capitalism thing for like generations 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 and have the scarcity happen for generations 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 you create a monster of like people who will like do a run on things when things are cheap you created this monster with capitalism. We you created this monster, a monster with scarcity. Scarcity does not have to exist. Uh, scarcity does fabricated for profits. But it's like it, it sometimes gets frustrating when I like talk to some people about like politics as well too. Because it then is, it, especially since like no, we shouldn't cap prices. Okay, then what's the fucking solution then? What's the fucking solution then? Anyway, continuing on. He delivered, and inflation has like since dropped by two thirds from its uh, peak. I, well, for a lot of people, it still feels like the prices are too high, but maybe because like people just don't have fucking money, and then I'll have like a and it was like cap rents and give rid of rents. That would also help. <sighs> There's going to be a lot that needs to be done. Anyway, continue. But some companies that haven't passed like these new savings on to the customers. They well, they never will. That's one thing. They will unpocket those like uh, savings as much as possible if they can. If they can get away, but they will do so. Continue on. Their cost has like come down, but their price is like high anyway. What's the most senior problems? What is preventing them from doing that though? If there's nothing preventing them from like marking up their prices as high as they want to as well too, then they'll keep on doing it. What? Do you believe in benefit dictators? Well, of course you believe in benefit dictators. You're fucking capitalists. You're fucking the Democrats. You do believe in benefit dictators because you believe you will be the benefit dictators as well, too. You just have to, like, say, orange man bad, and, like, we're not the fascist. We're not like the other guys. They're fascists. And then people will, like, vote for you because there's no other choice. You know, like, corporate profits happened like more than like a double since 2017. Last year, after tax uh, profit ratio for corporations outside the financial sector were the highest in like 90 years, Biden lowers the cost agenda in its historic in scope, attacking the issue for every angle to help cost uh, the cut in cost for customers and crack down on price gouging, and companies like get, you know, get to and get companies to use their record profits to reduce the prices long term. You're, you're asking for the companies to be, like, nicer about the capitalism. I, um, you probably believe that because, like, some of you are, like, are capitalists yourself. So, like, maybe you believe in the, the betterness of, like, this system as well, too. But I don't. I'm an anti-capitalist, frequently for a lot of reasons. Continue on. It's also investing in, like, making things, like, in America, uh, again, to boost the price. Um, 
I push down prices and bring jump home again the the unless they fix that loophole where it's just like hey companies can just like have like a part b is have a completed part b assembled outside of america i'm like in china Singapore, or taiwan or whatever they have it be shipped over to america uh, get disassembled in a factory and then reassembled in a factory or just a warehouse or something like that and then they can like mark the label american made on it and ship it out and like it's, it's made in america it was unmade in america and remade in america but it was like all oh, the no the, the bulk of the manufacturing didn't happen somewhere else so unless they can they like cut that loophole out of it as well too i'm not going to believe that american made is going to like help things as well too it'll bring some jobs sure but like i'm also anti-work in that like i think we just gotta really get rid of capitalism so we don't have to need so many pointless jobs It'll be like more pollution than jobs as well too. Um, this is why I haven't celebrated the fact that I'm over like 500 like follows because there's been so many like follow bots that I'm gonna have to like clean up as well too. And welcome like to Nate is a great guy. How are you doing? And thank you for the raid yesterday. Um, and I mean like I mean, it, it, I enjoyed my raid. I enjoyed my follow alert. I'm very proud about that. Uh, but like a the yeah i gotta like to actually go through and like kind of clean up a lot of like those like bots as well too so also if like if anyone's like generous in donating like a bits or subs or anything like that fortunately i'm turning off the alerts for now until like they kind of like ways over uh it's like once a week i'm getting a fall bot attack unfortunately but again if i haven't like done anything about the fall bots before then like um it's probably going to continue happening or i don't know how to prevent the like fall bots uh from uh happening at all as well too uh rearrange my second monitor how i like it's again why the have to celebrate I'm like oh you're over 500 followers yeah i got like fall bot attack that's why uh, so, um, this is where, the, again, the Democrats get to say orange man is bad as well. And I'm not saying that, like, Donald Trump isn't a bad guy. He's a fascist. Uh, Donald Trump has offered a single solution to lower family costs. He wants to drug, uh, drag America backwards with extreme import tariffs that will make lives more expensive for, like, folks next from lives. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, bottling cost money. I agree. And for like uh, corporations that hike prices and double profits since pandemic, Trump wants to reward them with a massive tax, tax cut. Um, independent analysis says Monga tax like and tariff line has increased inflation and cost three million jobs and slow growth uh, and slow growth. Uh, triggering a recession in the first like a year back in office. Uh, Trump's plan was will increase the costs for working families and is by 2500 a year i'm still not sure why growth is a good thing because like i said for example okay can the planet earth grow by three percent each year um continue on today america was built uh, its way back uh, into the strongest economic recovery in the world democrats won't let like uh, trump throw that all away yeah democrats want to like mess up the world <laughs> 